There are many mysterious levels in the catalog of the back rooms, and a lot of them have weird and cryptic information or just disturbing entities in them, and others have environments that give you that liminality and lonely feeling that we all love because we're lonely. But the level in today's video has both, and it might be the most interesting level in all of the back rooms. Plus it has Blanche. Yes, today I'm gonna to be explaining the famous level 906, or the Cygnus Archive. Sit back and relax, and let's get into it, shall we? Level 906 of the back rooms is a very safe level and has a survival difficulty of, quote, you're safe here, end quote. Cool. The level is known as the Cygnus Archive amongst most of the backroom's wanderers, and it was discovered accidentally when a wanderer no clipped through a book by touching the signature of the author of the book. The level itself takes the appearance of a massive, endless library complex. The library has different architecture throughout, but some parts of it resemble Victorian era and some parts resemble Baroque style from real life, although there can be other styles as well, like modern too. The level has a very strange property where you cannot photograph it at all, and if you try to, your camera will just crash and you won't be able to take pictures. So all the pictures in this video are just recreations or AI-generated versions of what we think the library might look like. So the library's endlessly sprawling wooden shelves are full of books and folders and maps and other documents written in various languages. Now, most of them, they make no sense and are incomprehensible because we don't speak the languages, but they all have the signature of one single person, one author, but more on her later on. The books don't necessarily obey the laws of physics as we know them, and really none of the level does. For example, some of the books and shelves have the ability to just float in place without being held up by anything. So you can just see floating shelves flying around. And there's also ladders randomly moving to different shelves and it's just a bunch of weird stuff like that. The library sprawls out in all directions, even directly upwards above you, which gives it this strange infinity feeling. The level is lit through candles that hang down from the ceiling, and even though the ceiling can just barely be seen, since it's so high up, the candles somehow light up the entire level just fine. Now it's thought that the ceiling you're seeing actually isn't the ceiling because it goes up forever. It's just some kind of roof. We don't know. Just don't overthink it. This is the back rooms. It'll mess up your mind. While walking around the level, it is a common thing to notice books or scrolls randomly clipping in and out of shelves and in and out of the level, going to different places or even floating in the air. This is a normal behavior for the level, it's just a pretty strange place. It's thought that the books get sent to different levels in the back rooms, I'll touch on that later, but uh, we don't really know why this happens, to be honest. The library has one unique entity that seems to have full control over it, and this entity is beloved by all fans of the back rooms. The entity takes the appearance of a short, humanoid woman with pale skin, long blonde hair, and light blue eyes. She normally wears some kind of ornate, fancy dress, and of course, she calls herself Blanche. Now, I won't be fully explaining Blanche's history or description or powers, because I'm gonna give an entire video to her. She's actually crazy. But just know that she is very welcoming of wanderers who visit the level, and will often invite them for a cup of tea in her office. Blanche is extremely powerful too, and seemingly holds all of the knowledge written in these books and scrolls in her mind. So she has all this knowledge and all this information about everything, and she still chooses to be kind. I, I, I gotta respect it, I mean, that's pretty impressive, I can't lie. Now if a visitor is hostile in any way, whether it's to Blanche or just mean in general, she will seemingly teleport them to the level that they came from without even moving. She will just look at them, call them rude, and then just Poof, they're gone, which again, I kind of respect. Now, besides Blanche, there's only a couple more entities, but I'm only gonna get into one this video, and those are the Light Guides, or Entity 35. 
Now these are very small points of light that look like an orb floating around, and they kind of float around the level's bookshelves in random patterns and through the hallways and rooms and everything. They're kind of just shooting around randomly. It's unknown why they do this or how they do it or if they even have a purpose, but some people theorize that they help Blanche out in some way or she somehow controls them and uses them in her bidding. Now besides the libraries and bookshelves of the level, there are a few other notable places that you can explore and get lost in, and I'm going to explain them right now. So Blanche's office of course is one, and this is actually where you'll spawn in the level at. It's a small, calm room in what seems to be the very center of the level. It has a desk and some tables and chairs and a few shelves with Blanche's favorite writings on them. On the tables are unfinished books that she seems to be working on, as well as some other artifacts, specifically things like a portrait of Blanche herself, an unfinished book by her as well, books on human philosophy, and just a ton of other scrolls and books on gardening and botany. And like I said, you will spawn here when you noclip, and then you will walk out of the office and see the rest of the level. The tea room is another place that you can visit on the level, and it's a small kitchen area with a dining area inside, and it's near Blanche's office. It has a working stove, cups of tea, and ingredients as well, and Blanche tends to take wanderers here to have tea and food with them if she somehow enjoys their company. The last area that's been found so far is a very unique place referred to as the guest rooms. Now these are huge winding bedrooms and hallways that seemingly are controlled by Blanche herself. I mean, she controls the entire level. These rooms are safe and you can relax in them and take a break from your horrifying journey through the back rooms and just stay here for a little bit if Blanche lets you. She can also change things about the rooms based on who's inside of them, which is a pretty interesting note. Now there's actually one more area, but it really hasn't been confirmed yet and it's not really an area, but I'm gonna tell you all about it anyway. It's rumored that a prolonged exposure to this level, so staying inside this place too long, will cause a phenomenon called witnessing the beyond to occur. Now it's said that this phenomenon can cause significant overflow of information and damage the nervous system. It can completely get rid of your sense of identity and your cognitive ability as well. And it's almost like you've absorbed too much information that your tiny little human brain can handle. So it just is like, poof, you no longer exist. Now there's no proof of this happening per se, but people have claimed to seen it happen. You know, wanderers just walk and then they just poof and seemingly just evaporate. Um, but who knows? That kind of adds a scary twist to the level. Again, we don't know if it's real. It could be a rumor. Now, to enter this level, you have to find a book with the author name Blanche on another level in the back rooms and rub your index finger across her signature. And this is how the first person who got sent here found it. They did it accidentally, of course, because who would think to just rub their finger across the author's name? But it is the only way to come here. To exit, you have to find Blanche herself and ask if you can leave, and then she'll guide you to a level that you choose. And that's how powerful she is. I mean, you can literally choose whatever level in the back rooms, and she'll send you there, as long as you're nice. If you're hostile, she'll send you back where you came from, even if it's a bad level, so just beware. Books from this level have been seen all over the back rooms, in the deep levels, in the negative levels, in the enigmatic levels, and no one really knows exactly how this happens or what the purpose is. If Blanche is just sending them here for people to read, or if they somehow control and intertwine all of the levels, we don't know. Leave a comment telling me what your theory is about it. I'm really interested to hear what you gotta say, because I have no idea. Anyways, that was level 906. I hope you enjoyed. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Listen, I love libraries. They're really liminal, and this one is no exception. I think this is an all-time favorite for many people, and it's definitely for me as well. So if you enjoyed it, drop a fat like and drop a sub if you want to see more, of course, and do all that YouTube stuff. Check out my other channel, Spoogly, if you want some more deep dive internet horror stuff and niche conspiracy stuff and anything weird like that. That's more of my passion project channel, so if you want that sort of vibe, go check it out. Thank you for all you do. I love and appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next video on any of my channels. I'll see you there.